Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Where we last left off was we basically went to the tomb uh, within this jungle space. I don't know what the, the what the specific space is called. Uh, I mean, it says Kwak Yaku, but I don't know if it's if this location in like the <laughs> little map area here is exactly that. But we went through this tomb right around here, and uh, I couldn't progress any further because I feel like it's a feeling it's not so much as like i'm guaranteed a solution or guaranteed a uh the answer to the problem but i think i'm missing a tool where we need to accelerate the rope arrow thing uh the rope ascender i think is what it's called so i won't be able to get the rest of that tomb done so that's why we had to take we went in <laughs> halfway through and exited halfway out because of the fact that that was what was kind of given to us in that sense so now we're going to continue through the story, uh, where we're not going to have to deal with the... We don't need to deal with the... The, uh, what's my call it? The... We're not going to deal with the tomb any longer, we'll just deal with the story stuff from here on out. Alright, I don't know where exactly... I need to go this way, I think. Yeah, I don't know exactly if we... If all of it all comes back together to that one... To that one place we need to be at. For the story objective, but yeah, this is where I think we left off when we try to go to the story or through the story here. Oh, there's another base camp. Wow. Some material here. I'll grab first. Yeah, we did use some of the the gears and stuff. All full up. Can't carry any more. Okay, let me go and rest up here. Uh, I don't think I have enough anything at the moment. Like, not enough materials. Yeah, not enough materials for the other stuff. Four upgrades. Three pistol shots. Okay, whatever. Um, I'll leave it for now. Alright. I'm guessing we're gonna get into a fight of some sort, maybe? Firefight, maybe? Because it seems like we're getting into, like, a weird fight. Meet Jonah in the ruins. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's sell some stuff to this guy right here. The merchant's like nearby, at least. Hey, merchant. Hi, hello. See anything that you like? Maybe, maybe not. Uh. I want a suppressor, though. I did try to get the suppressor earlier on. Yes. Excellent choice. Rifle ammo pouch. Will do, I guess. A good deal for both of us. Mm. Yeah, so we got all this in general while picking up a bunch of stuff. Excellent choice. Jade ores meant to sell to per. Oh, okay, cool. That's really cool. Another thing here, sell it. A good deal for both of us. Cloth we got maximum of. Uh, I'm gonna sell some of the perception plants at least. Like maybe five or ten, I guess. That's like twelve. Let's do half. Yeah, let's sell like half. Excellent of it. choice. Same for this, half. I wish it was like a half button or something like that instead of just max sometimes, Enjoy. but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, because we have a lot of these things due to the fact that we I like to loot a lot while I'm at places. Excellent choice. So it makes sense that I would get a lot more of those materials than anything. Okay, got some Empress Jaguar hide. Okay, I didn't know that was an Empress Jaguar hide. JD, CNT... S55. Are these the only two guns we get from this store that's like only available for us here? What is this? Oh, I see. It's to craft more ammunition. More experience for himself. So these are just materials for like... These two are just recipes for the materials for the uh, stuff we can build or craft to get some upgrades to our outfit, I think. Okay. I think that we're good for now. Yeah, we're good for now. Come back soon. Yep. Uh, 
I don't think we have anything to worry about in this town yet. Oh, there's a document nearby. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. It seems like everyone wants to help Abby, but. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within. Sounds like the tomb that we just went through for some reason. But yeah, it seems like people want to help Abby, but they're just like, they're not sure how much they can help Abby. Oh, we need, we need to go into that one spot. Okay, I thought it was... I thought I did. I need to go back to the bar. Sorry. I'm up into her. I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Uh, I got nothing I need right now. Um, Yeah, because it's telling me to go back into this tomb. I'm assuming we're going to get into a fight somewhere in time. Jonah? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Scared me, man. You scared me. Downstairs? The heck? They actually went and excavated. Even further. Hey. Have you been down there? We were waiting for you. Oh, okay. What do you think we'll find? The mural showed a series of trials. Yeah, it's gonna be a big, like, trial. Trap! At least nobody was standing there. I may know another way around. Okay, I'll go ahead and meet you on the other side. At least nobody was standing right there and then, because that would have, like, killed somebody right off the bat. Yeesh. These traps are just, like, ruthless. But thankfully, nobody died? I don't know. It would have been cool, or I guess it's cool in a sense. Cool, but brutal if they had a fourth person who was like helping them dig through the thing and then like that person died like a nobody character <laughs> but it'd be wasteful it would be a waste to drop characters like that randomly <laughs> running down to the wall that was a huge drop all right let's get down to the water uh there's some apparently some more extra things like these again See, immediately I'm, I'm going to these things because I know for a fact that I'm gonna... Like, I'm gonna immediately, like, try to, like, get through them, get them first. Do we, can we squeeze in here? Oh, we can. Jesus. <laughs> That's super duper, like, tiny, and I thought it... <laughs> I thought Laura couldn't do it. Jeez. We're almost there. We're almost to whatever this thing is. Yeah, she's losing air really quick. It's really bad. Air bubbles. Oh, okay. We got it, I guess. Oh, there's some eels now. Jeez. I see something yellow, I think, in the back here. No, never mind. I thought it was. I thought it was something. More air. Please give me more air. Back in there. Cool. Yeah, how do we deal with, like, eels here, though? If there's eels around here, why... Okay, what is this? Oh. Oh, so it's kind of like extra some things, I guess. Air. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the eels aren't as, like, threatening as the piranhas, but they could easily be, like, annoying as heck. There's more items here, apparently. Yeah, I see the eels walking about, just, like, waiting for me to get close to them or something. <laughs> but definitely, they really, like... I feel like this game really does encourage, like, the sort of, like... Oh, jeez. No, no, ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, jeez. How do I get them? How do I, how do I stop it? Okay, there we go. There we go. Down you go. 
Thank you very much. At least not as bad as the... I want to get this. Not as bad as the piranhas, I don't think. Sheesh. Air, 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 First, air. Dude, that was, like, very scary still. Like, I know for a fact that I was not ready for that. But, jeez. Okay. Going through here again. More tight, tiny corners. As always. Path to the Hidden City. Trial of the Spider. That is quite the spider, indeed. Are we gonna go into, like, uh... Spoilers for Uncharted. Are we gonna go into the spider thing that we did with Uncharted, like, 2 or 3? I can't remember which one specifically. I think it was 3. Like, 3, they had, like, uh... What's gonna call it? Oh, let me swim up, get some air, and then get that gold ore. Okay, down. I wanna get the ore down here, at least. Like, in, uh... I think 2 or 3, or maybe it was 1, I can't remember. Like, there was, like, a bunch of spiders that chases after you, and you'll have to, like, get the heck out of there <laughs> kind of situation in Uncharted. I remember that sequence. It's hilarious to me, thinking back on that playing that sequence it's like is it gonna be as like that level of like a bunch of spiders chasing after you <laughs> sort of thing so but it is creepy though I'd say that much wait no no we need to go this way I think why would they have another set of sections no So we got this section here. Oh, 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 uh... No? No, we need to jump this side and then grab the... Okay, cool. That makes a lot more sense in my head. After... After clicking with the, the whole angle of where they're, like, telling you to jump kind of situation. Jonah? If you can hear me, I think I'm still on the path at the spider trial. I'm gonna get to the top. Okay, there's two ways to go. What does this lead to? Oh, I don't know why it pushed me back a little bit there. Maybe because of collision. Get that. Okay, so that's axing the wall on there. Let's see what's over here first. I want to grab as much items as I can. Or at least maybe secret collectibles and such as I can before we move forward to wherever it is that we need to go to. Ooh, this is interesting. There's some jade ores, I guess. More jade ores here. I jumped down just wondering if there was anything more to the space here. Yeah, because this is this one spot that I that we were gonna split off into, but I just didn't choose to go this this way. Yeah, I guess they just loop around basically. I think the uh, this way to to discover this thing is much more impactful than the one where we just jump and climb. We get hints of it, but I feel like going through that little tiny hole kind of makes a very cool and scary reveal of like some sort of like tomb like body i guess anyways let's get going shall we keep moving moving back through the space to get wherever this is maybe it is kind of fascinating though that like they have a bunch of caves like these all right gonna jump oh no 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 down 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 gotta swing it Gotta swing it. Though the ambience is really scary, though, at the same time. Because I'm hearing, like... Like, it's like like weird bass kind of happening in the background. And hitting me in, like, directions. Trail Trial of the Eagle? So we got done with the spider, and now we're in the eagle section? Ooh. Incredible. 
Jonah, I'm at the next trial. The Eagle. It has something to do with the wind. I'm still tracking west. Heading downward now. There's an underground river. Okay. Oh, it's over here on the left. Yeah, so far it's really like... I, I really love the design of the, the, the way the environment is. It's just the environment's so really good. I like it. It's not relying on like... What's at the end of these trials? The hidden city, but what else? I hope Jonah's alright. I guess I'll just spend the last point on this thing because I don't have any more skill points needed for other things. Incapacitate unarmored enemies with a counterattack after dodging. Oh, okay. That's an interesting thing to get. Yeah, so that was the last one with the one point, I think. Oh, no, no, there was a spider thing. Yeah, the owl's meal would be the last one with the one pointer. I mean, it's whatever, honestly. I don't really need that much of the stuff, but it's what it is. Let's see what the inventory has. No upgrades now. Yeah, this one has a suppressor now. Is there any reason to upgrade this yet? Or is there any good reason to upgrade it right now, I guess, is what I'm thinking about. But I'm, a, I'm gonna try to upgrade it anyways, because I wanna try to see where it goes from here. If it does better than what the silence thing does, then that would be great. But I don't think so, in my opinion, because I think that it's gonna end up having less of the thing. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just looking to see if the suppression is still there on the thing. Or if it's automatic or anything. Oh yeah, the fire rate and the reload speed. Yeah, honestly, this thing can run away with the ammo capacity. I do think that this gun can run away with the ammo capacity, but it doesn't have enough damage. As long as it beats the damage, I will probably switch over to this thing again. And then, like, use that instead, but... It'll really be determined by that, like, sort of... In the, like, that that will be the one determined factor for me to switch over to the other pistol. When I feel like it. What is this? A wood. I don't have enough space for that. Okay, I think we're good to just keep moving for now. I see something on the right side, or on the left side of the map, or on the thing when it highlighted it. What is this? No oh, resources. Okay. I'll take them resources, as always. Oh. Some language stuff. The world around them began to crumble. The people decided to move. The artifact entrusted to them urged them to travel south, lest it be seized by their enemies. Interesting. So something told them to move down to South America, I guess, is what they're trying to say? I'm guessing? I'm not sure entirely either. Right, we need to walk up to this thing and then climb up. Yep. Yeah, it's very fascinating. The environment itself is like... Still standing after centuries of earthquakes and storms. Yeah, this windmill is incredible. We need to go over here, I guess. Ah! Bye, Laura. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just ridiculous that those kind of things is like not obvious to me for why I can't get down there. Okay, there we go. I was not anticipating that I had to climb like that. That was my fault. There we go. Might be a ladder if it was the right way up. Need to find where to start the machinery. Hmm. Maybe over here? Have to climb down. Oh, right here. Nope. <laughs> that was not a way to climb down. <laughs> I pressed C or I, I crouched down to that spot because I wasn't sure. Need to find where to start the machinery. I know that. I'm just trying to figure out where... Where's what 
in terms of climbing space because there's not a lot of obvious climbing spaces. Their indications are very vague sometimes or very delicate or what's the keyword? Very subtle. There we go. It's very, very subtle in a sense that like it doesn't help me understand if I'm doing it right or wrong. So, so I tend to get confused or I just kind of make an assumption and then get screwed over by the assumption that I <laughs> that I think is correct or incorrect. Okay, there's that thing that we can climb up to the top with. I'm guessing that will help me get to that spot. I don't know why I have the pistol equipped, but that's besides the point. Over to the right, or yeah, to the right. To this side, please. Uh, there's no up, so... Okay, there we go. I was like, there's no up here. Yeah, we need to, like, swing it to this side. Really? Not like this? Okay, let me move it down further. It looks like I need more space. This part. There we go. Nice. Man, this is, like, really nice, like, scenery. I honestly can't believe how, like... It really is nice. I don't know why I keep saying it. I know I'm a broken record, but dude, the scenery is just very luscious and very, like, different. Because, like, I think about, like, I don't, I don't like harping over it every time, but I keep harping over it. Because I know this game was trying to compete with Uncharted to some degree. Uh, Have to deploy the banners. Oh, I need to go this way. Like, I understand, like, this game was trying to... This looks promising. Oh. Oh, there's the ladder. Or my ladder, I guess. Like, I understand that, like, you know, it's trying to compete against... Oh, why did I miss that? Bye, Laura. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... I'm just doing it every time, not not trying to hurt... Not trying to, to, to kill her. This. Yeah, I know, I need to time it, I get it. It's trying to compete against Uncharted in a way, and I understand, like, you know, there is some challenges to that kind of thing. Oh, okay, I didn't know that was a thing where we had to drop down. There we go. Ooh, okay. Up. Got it. Okay, so now that we're here. Ooh, interesting. I'm up faster, Laura. <sighs> Can't climb this one yet. Okay. I guess we have to figure that one out too. But like, I know they're trying to compete against that, but I think that they didn't need to beat the... I don't think they needed to beat Uncharted More from, sales. From, a, uh, from a gameplay standpoint, because I do think this game successfully tries very well like, to make it into a puzzle-based game. Though there are some very hard, like, uh, very, very difficult rough spots for these puzzle kind of things. Although they exist, I still think that it's much more better to try to experiment on crazy amounts of, like, puzzles that really makes it stand out differently than the rest, I think. Like, it's memorable in a way, like, you're doing windmill here. Oh, jeez, what am I doing? Why is she doing this? No! Oh, jeez. Bye, Laura! <laughs> she hit the freaking wood and knocked herself out there. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Um... Not here. I try to. I'm trying to remember where I jumped to. Oh, there we go. Right here. Like, it's trying to make the gameplay at least like fun and interesting. Versus like Uncharted was trying to make a more cinematic feel, blended in with a, uh, with blended in with some minimal or like at least some typical like gameplay stuff, gameplay elements. Uh, but Tomb Raider feels more like it's at home to exploration, while Uncharted feels more cinematics and straightforward, like, gunplay and killing and stuff like that. Which, I think I wanted less of the gunplay stuff. I, I understand, you know, like, Uncharted had the formula of, I'm dead. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. The death, the death in these are just, just out of, like, out of the left field for me in this game. It's 
better than Rise of the Tomb Raider in some degrees because of the traps that were developed for this kind of thing. I need to go this way, yeah. <sighs> that was close. Yeah, I need to go this way to get the thing open, isn't it? Yeah. Is there have any... to access the central pillar. Uh sheesh. Where does this go? Let me go see what's over here first. Oh, there's some stuff. Nice. I was about to miss that too, if I wasn't paying. Do you not hide good food from guests because it will turn into worms. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you, you warned us, you know, you gotta <laughs> you gotta get some worms somehow. Now, let's see what's over here. No? What is What is this thing for? I'm confused. This thing exists and it's like I don't know what this is for. Let me see. And there. There we go. Uh, Got to be a way to open the door somehow. I'm trying to think like how that works. Like I opened that spot up, but that didn't really do more than it needs to do, I guess. At least this thing is encouraging me to think, I guess. Like, that's the one biggest thing for me. It's like a game, at least... Like, I like getting lost a little bit and exploring and stuff. And I think that this game has really done a good job in doing that. But mixing it up with really well, like... Well-looking environments and unique environments, especially to that, it makes it much more interesting to me and compelling to me as a player. Or as a developer, whatever, you know? Might be a handle around here somewhere. Handle? Where? Oh, maybe I can just pull that thing, can I? Sometimes I forget the pulling mechanic. This might work. Yeah, sometimes I forget the pulling mechanic is a thing, and then I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. okay, so it's a timer. Damn. The lever is too worn to hold the door. Alright. Fair, very fair. Was not paying attention. Oh, I know what. Damn, that won't work. I know what. I need to pull this thing first, and then I have to tie that to the uh, the post over there. That's why this post exists. Okay. Yes, that'll hold. All right, cool. That just makes it do double. It's like a doubly, doubly, doubly kind of like yeah. rope mechanic. Good. The ladder should turn now. Alright, cool. But yeah, like, this is why I like this game so far, is like, it's just, there's these, like, weird, interestingly different puzzle stuff. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Got to find another way up. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh jeez. What am I trying to jump to? That's the other question. I need to find another way up. I don't think this is gonna stop me yet, so that's fine. At least I can keep balance here and wait till I figure out what's my next move. Uh, I know it's a little spinny, but apologies to those who might be a little bit dizzy. <laughs> so we need to climb up to that thing right there, right? Nope, nope. Oh, I'm dead. Bye. <laughs> my fault. My bad. Yeah, so we need to climb up to that ladder space up there, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't tell me much when I got to that spot. I'm just kind of curious how... How that works. Am I supposed to go closer into the, the center, maybe? Oh, there is a something in the center. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't... Oh, what? What? I got... I got the thing, and then suddenly it just screws me over anyway. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so you need to go to the center, and then... What does that get me closer to? So we get to the center, what's gonna happen then? Do I just climb further up? Oh no, I see where I'm going. Okay, I need to climb up and then get that one little... There's a little, like, uh, walkway up there. I think. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Darn. Okay. What is the thing I need to climb up towards, I wonder? I'm, I'm still kind of a little bit... I'm struggling a little bit, but I just need to figure out the thing. But I'm moving a lot to kind of not be able to figure it out. Um... Hmm. We climb up, and then we got the thing, and then we need to figure out where we need to climb up with it, I guess? No, I see it. Never mind. It's... I see where it's at. It's not this section. It needs to be behind this one little, like, wooden, uh, wooden stick up there. Okay. Right here. There we go. That's where we need to be. Okay, cool. And then we get up to here. Okay, cool. Can we not climb up? There we go. Cool. Yeah, see, I like the... Like, it, it's, it's encouraging me to think. That's the one big thing I think uh, Uncharted sometimes do, but then it feels too close to... Or it feels too sectioned into uh, more of, like, the cinematic bits that makes it hard for me I don't to... have enough space for that. Makes it hard for me to, like, gravitate it to being more of a game and more more of a cinematic, interactive experience, which... One more climb. Which is a little bit different from wherever it is. But yeah, I mean that's that's how I feel about this game so far. Uh, though I think Tomb of the I think Rise of the Tomb Raider wasn't as crazy as this game. I think this is the one that fits the bill for me. I think because I think I'm more into like the tropical stuff than the tundra that they had back then. What am I supposed to do up here? Yeah, I'm I'm not sold with the tundra stuff that they had in Rise of the Tomb Raider, but. Um, but I was more, I'm so, I'm more sold into this idea of Amazonian jungly sort of thing. Alright, we need to go here, but what for? Dude, this is really cool. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I'm trying my best to, oh, face to face in a temple built in your, nope, that was not it. <laughs> I thought it was. A, it looked like a good jumping spot, right? It looks like a good spot for jumping. One more climb. All right. Let me see what time is it. All right. Let me finish the finish this climbable, and then we when we land on the next platform that saves our spots, then I'll probably start. Then I'll probably stop the episode there. Oh no! There we go. Got to climb to the side. This is gonna make some people dizzy, but I, I think it's fine, I guess, for the way it is. It's right here. I I miss I miss looked at the thing. I looked at the floor and usually I guess the floor is more tempting than the uh, than the uh, actual like the actual climbing bits to help with careful waiting till the thing slides back to the Okay, there we go. There we go. Climb it! Laura, come on, climb. You can climb. What? Oh, what? 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 What did I do? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong, dude? Oh, we were here. Okay, that's good. That's good. I was kind of confused because it didn't look obvious, I guess. Alright, we're almost there. Just need to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here. I'm waiting till the, the ladder becomes an actual ladder. Shit, shit. Come on, climb, Laura, climb. There we go. All right, come on. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Oh, we made it. Jonah, I'm past the Eagle Trial. I must be closing in on the hidden city. It's interesting sometimes because she's saying those things, but we're not sure if if Jonah can hear it or not sometimes. Alright, cool. This will be where I'm ending it for now. That was a really fun puzzle. I honestly like it. Even though I got stuck in some parts, uh, over time I kind of solved it in my head and finally got to it. Really enjoy it. I really, really, really do. Uh, but my point still stands. I think that like after finishing like a lot of Uncharted, like I've played through 1 all the way down to like Lost Legacy and 4. Um, I think that Uncharted doesn't do 
justice and trying to make it in more of a game game to me sometimes i just feel like it's more of an interactive experience as i said like it's just a sort of like movie but with interactions involved a lot of the times but i i mean i like it i like uncharted for its movie cinematic feel and its acting and the story and stuff like that and some of the tomb raiding stuff as well with it or like the the crypt stuff or the treasure hunting and all that jazz i still like them for that but I think I appreciate Tomb Raider more in the sense that they try to do different things and not lean in too heavily to the cinematic stuff and not trying to lean in too much to the killing just, just yet. I, I know Rise of the Tomb Raider had a lot of that, but I think this one is less a little bit and makes it feel more grounded in a sense. So I much appreciate Shadow of the Tomb Raider's sort of like risk to do something different than to go for the formula that they tried or that they've seen or that they've done before stuff like that but anyways other than that thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode if i do and if not then hope you guys have a great day weekend night whenever watching this and uh yeah more to go through i'm excited to keep playing and uh we'll see where we'll go from there Roz, out